Well, today we're going to be working on a Honda HRR 216. It's going to be a K4, which means it's only about a year, two or three years old. Um, I don't think they make the K5 yet. Maybe they do, I'm not sure. It's the VKA. It's got the thumb control for your speed and a blade brake. But anyway, the uh, the complaint is uh, has no idle and uh, has surges when it runs it wide open. Uh, so we'll be doing a uh, carburetor repair on this one. And we'll see how it turns out. Now once you take the air filter out of it, you'll see three screws. One, two, and three. You can remove those screws. They're about you know two or three inches long. Uh, one screw is only about an inch long. Uh, if you have to replace the air filter housing because they do get warped, when you order the new part number, it will not have the screw. They've actually beefed up the backside of the uh, air filter housing, so you won't even use this screw. But anyway, uh, there's one more screw over here, and you just take it out, and you can move this whole assembly completely out of the way, get right to the carburetor. Uh, once you have the carburetor off, that's real simple. You just unhook it from the uh, governor rods and the choke linkage. And uh, once you get the carburetor apart, you're going to want to take the bowl off of it, take the float in the float pin, and there's a couple of screws. There's one here you want to take out, and there's one there you want to take out. Uh, this one usually has a limiter cap on it, and it's held on by some green glue. If you'll take a cigarette lighter and uh, heat that up, that limiter cap will just come right off and you can take it out with a screw. Uh, you want to blow carburetor cleaner through here, here, and both of the uh, air bleeds. You want to be sure those are clean. Uh, be sure your atmospheric vent here is clean. Uh, blow everything out with compressed air. Uh, your needles, you want to make sure there's no trash or debris on those. Uh, your main jet, you want to be sure that it's clean. This one's actually plugged up. That's probably the main reason that it's not working right. Your motion tube, you want to be sure all the holes are cleaning it. This one looks pretty good, but I'll clean it up anyway. But in a, as soon as I get all the carburetor back together, uh, we'll see how it runs. When you get ready to go back with the carburetor, uh, you want to be sure you hook up your linkages first. Uh, your fuel line will go on next right there on the nipple on the carburetor. Um, the biggest mistake that I see when they come in the shop is they'll... Uh, pull this gasket off right here and you see how it's got an atmospheric pressure uh, or atmospheric vent uh, the new gaskets I always put new gaskets as you can tell I don't know if you can tell in the video but these gaskets are double uh, they are metal impregnated and they have two sides uh, they got a gasket material a metal plate and a gasket material that's actually kind of a crush uh, gasket if you will but uh, yeah always replace the gaskets and uh, we'll see how it goes here in just a few minutes. Before you go on with the new carburetor, I wanted to show you the differences in the uh, the air guides behind the carburetor. It's actually where the carburetor mounts. Uh, the gaskets are on both sides. Uh, from the factory, uh, Honda on the old one, this is the old one right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they actually used glue, some look like Gorilla Glue, to glue these on from the factory and uh, they're, they, the, they were plugging up the hole, the, the atmospheric pressure hole that goes from here plumb through the carburetor and back to the back to vent in the back uh, they were plugged up with, with glue so they've redesigned it, different kind of gasket material uh, no more glue, uh, it just works so much better just, just by the air guide uh, the gaskets, if you buy just the gaskets alone cost as much as the whole part so it's a, it's a no brainer on that well, I got her all back together here. I just wanted to show you one other thing uh, that I forgot to mention a while ago. Uh, whenever you uh, are doing a carb job, always flush out your gas tank and make sure your cap is venting properly. Uh, also, one thing I did find on this machine, uh, if you look at the air filter, see how that pleat on that filter is, is, uh, is bent over? What it does, it, they, the customer puts it on and they get the pleat in between the filter case and the filter itself so it should always just stick it in here first make sure it's seated like that and then uh, and just cam it over and it should just clip right on and then it's good to go uh, we'll do a little 
start and run here. Test it out. Choked it. Got it all choke. Take it off choke. No surgeon. I set the RPM to about 3100. Pull it down to idle. It's got good idle. I engage the blades. Does it bog down? Good to go. Wrench on. I hope this helps. If y'all have any questions, let me know. I plan on doing lots more uh, lawn and garden type videos like this. So y'all keep, I'll keep y'all informed. Bye. Eric the car guy, probably my biggest inspiration on making these videos. Uh, he does an excellent job. Uh, he's very well spoken. Uh, he's just a good down to earth guy. And I suggest that you get to know this person uh, on Facebook. Uh, if you ever need help on fixing a car, uh, he and I go back and forth on Facebook sometimes and uh, talk about uh, stuff. So uh, if you want to visit him at ericthecarguy.com, uh, he'd appreciate it if you'd sign up uh, for his, uh, he's got a forum. Uh, if you have any questions on cars, he'd be glad to answer them. But uh, yeah, I don't have a website, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe one day, who knows? Ranch on.